Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Battlethon News. We, we rocking. We rocking. I just want to put y'all on, keep y'all on point about what's going on. I know recently we just heard news of the president of Haiti being assassinated, which is very, uh, is very unfortunate, crazy. Um, give me a second, y'all. Um, president of Haiti. Mm -mm -mm. But they got an update on the assassination. They're linking, from what from what I'm seeing here, they're linking the assassination to a doctor. One second, you guys. They're linking it to a doctor. Okay, give me a second. All right, so. Yo, yo. Yo, yo, what up, man? Um, Share the link. Hit the like button. Share the link. I'm give everybody like 30 seconds before I start this story. This is kind of a. This is a little, this is a, this is kind of bugged out, man. It's bugged out. Yo, yo, Rain, what's up, Rain? How you doing, Queen? Love me some Rain. Love me some Rain. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I love me some Rain. Rain is so sweet. Been supporting me for so long. Word. I definitely got to take care of Rain. Rain is my one of my biggest supporters, yo. I really appreciate you, Rain. Word. Um, all right, let me just get to this. All right, so <laughs> I love you. So I appreciate that so much. Um, okay, so look at this, right? Christian Emmanuel Sannon, a 63 year old Haitian man and self described doctor living in Florida, has been at has been arrested for allegedly plotting to assassinate Haitian President Javanel Moise in order to take the presidency for himself. 63 years old. He's trying to snatch that presidency, all right? There have been several arrests made and people implicated in the murder of President Moise, but the Haitian government publicly named Sanon as the leader in the alleged attempt coup. Publicly named him. And the problem, see, the thing with that is, if the government, if the government named you, that's that's basically like they're on the news reporting it like, yo, we are looking for this person right here. So that's the scary part, right? Haiti's national police chief, Leon Charles, stated that Sanon arrived in Haiti last week on a private plane and is alleged to have hired a private Venezuelan security company based in Florida to recruit the people who pulled off the murder. Hence the reason why they were speaking in Spanish. It was Spanish accents. It said Venezuelan. Immediately, my thing was, I said, you know what? It was probably somebody from DR. Because DR and Haiti is the same island. Um, the Dominicans have been mistreating the people of Haiti for decades, for the longest. Um, you're not going to see Asian people just trying to kill Dominicans, but you go over to DR, the Dominicans will try to kill the Haitians, um, or they will kill them, but I even try. But when, when I heard that, I automatically, I just said, you know what, maybe it came from somewhere close, but they want to make it seem like it's from far away. But now they're saying that Dr. Sandin, Christian Sandin, 63 year old self described doctor living in Florida, had hired a Venezuelan security company. 
to pull off the assassination. The Washington Post also pointed to a 2011 video that is titled, quote, Dr. Christian Sanon, Leadership for Haiti, where Dr. Sanon, Haiti's condemned leaders as corrupt, stating they don't care about the country, they don't care about the people, we can't take it anymore. We need new leadership that will change the way of life. And I must say, after speaking to a lot of my Haitian cohorts and a lot of the people that I know, they did tell me, it was Zaire, um, these people that are in power don't care about Haiti. They don't really care about what's going on. They don't care about the things that are happening to the people. This is what I've personally heard these things. So. You have, what the balance is, is they may not care, right? Let's say they don't care. Let's say these, let's say the, the individuals who are a part of this, let's say they don't care, right? Now, this is what the problem is, right? This is the problem. Nobody looked into it enough to see if these people in Haiti were being mistreated. So even if the president did get assassinated, which he did, which is a misjustice to the community, what about the people in Haiti? Are they now going to get a leader who also doesn't care about them again? Is it going to be an ongoing and oncurring thing where you just get these people in power who don't care? I mean, because in the United States, a lot of people would say, we don't get what we deserve. But then again, we have it better than a lot of other countries. You understand? Um, I really, it's unfortunate, you know, it was just really unfortunate that he had to die this way. Um, I wish it didn't have to be, you know, because you got to think Haiti's such a, you know, it's, they, 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 there's some areas they're wealthy. Well, for the most part, for the Prince, City Soleil, you look at these different areas and they're really doing bad, man, especially after that earthquake. Um, you look at the earthquake, uh, I believe I've told you guys about this before. If you guys are not privy to this, I'll put you on to it. But with the earthquake, uh, a lot of people, a lot of, in hindsight, it wasn't right, right, to the people. Um, and after the earthquake, a lot of people came in and bought a blend. Nobody stopped these people from coming to buy a blend. One thing I do want to say is that that's a dangerous job. Being a rapper is a dangerous job, but being the president of a poor country? Very dangerous. This is very dangerous. Man only made $90,000 a year in, in, in United States money. $90,000 a year considerably. That's nothing for that job. He's not too far from what I make. As a freelance, a freelancing independent videographer who runs his own company, he's not too far from what I make. I put in an extra little bit more hours and weeks throughout the year. I can easily do 90. So it's it's just sad, man, to think that these people don't have a chance, man. You know, because now if they say the doctor carried it out, then what's the doctor's motives then? All right. Authorities who raided San Antonio home said they found boxes of bullets, shooting targets, and several Dominican Republican. Wow. See what I just said? They found several Dominican Republican license plates in his home. They also found a DEA cap, which some felt was connected to reports that the assassins who killed Moise falsely, falsely identified themselves as drug enforcement administration agents before gaining access to his home and killing him. National Police Chief Leon Charles also revealed that one of the arrested suspects called Sandin after the murder, and Sandin then allegedly contacted the supposed intellectual mastermind of the plot. There has been doubt cast on whether Sandin could afford to carry out such an expensive plot, as some of the suspected assailants have claimed they were paid as much as $3,000 a month to take part in the plot. The Miami Herald obtained public records which show that Sandin claimed he was making sixty thousand dollars a year in 2013 during a bankruptcy filing. He also claimed he had four hundred thousand dollars in debt. Other suspected leaders involved have yet to be revealed. 
I'll keep you guys posted on this story so you guys know exactly what's going on. Uh, once again, as always, I appreciate you guys. Um, love, life, and loyalty is the motto. It's the reason why I say stay safe, stay real, and stay true. You follow me, I'll follow you. Give me about two minutes, and I will be right back with some more news. Please make sure that you guys like, subscribe, hit the share button, share it to Facebook, share it to Twitter.